Well, in 2007, when we knew that he was diagnosed with Parkinson's, we knew that, you know, we better do something uh, to secure visitation and to be able to see my father because we knew his wife hated us, wouldn't even let us in the house. If you have a contentious family relationship, you may be on your second or third spouse, uh, people aren't getting along, um, you're gonna have a lot of trouble. You're gonna have, you could have a, a public guardian come in, somebody who doesn't even know your family, never met you come in and start taking care of everything. They decide that they don't want the family fighting, so now uh, you are left in a um, nursing home without visitation. So very quickly in this country, once you turn 18, you have no rights to see your parents if there's an uncooperative caretaker and they're in a home, a residential home or an assisted living. You have no rights to see them. And the police can't help you, adult protective services can't help you, the courts can't help you. Your house is gone, your, your cars are gone, you're dying alone, you're over-medicated. You think this can't happen to you, it's happening to people, hundreds of thousands of people in this country every day. My father wanted to be at home. He had $80 million, at least that's what we know of, right? That's enough to, to have caretakers 24 hours around the clock in your own home. She left him in different places all around Los Angeles so we couldn't find him, so we couldn't visit. He was alone and sick and scared. So my dad did all of his will and estate planning. He had it all, right? What went wrong? A spouse that continually lied, that was greedy, that was um, not content with pretty much having everything and my dad leaving us some stuff in the trust. I said, Dad, why would you marry somebody who hates your children? And he, he just, he kept saying, I thought it would get better. I thought it would get better. I thought she would love you guys.